Let's make a business card and learn some tools and techniques in the process. Click Sketch, Line, Horizontal Plane, and I am just going to eyeball proportions. I'm not going to type numbers. I'd like the corners to be curved. So I'll click Arc, Three Point Arc, and then I need to make sure that I'm clicking on the line. There's the first point, there's the second point, and there's the curve. I don't need to draw this again because I can mirror it, but I need some mirror lines. So I'll click on line again, draw a line in the center this way, draw a line in the center this way, and then choose Mirror. Select the object, select the mirror line, and click OK. Let's do that again. Mirror, select one arc, hold the Shift key down to select the other arc, Select this mirror line and click OK. Choose Trim and trim away the corners. Then trim away the mirror lines because we don't need them anymore. I'd like a border on this. So now I'm going to click Offset, select the curve to offset, then I can offset it this way or this way. And click OK. Time to bring in some text now. So click on Text, click on a location, Type the text and we can adjust the height and angle, but I'm just going to click OK and then with the mouse adjust the location. And I can stop the sketch at this point. Now let's turn this all into bodies. Right click on the text, choose press pull, and pull it up as high as you want. Note that once I click OK, all the sketches disappear. So I have to go back here and turn them on again. Now I'm going to click on the base, right click, press pull, and I'll pull this up. But notice it's cutting through the text, so I have to go here and choose new body, and that fixes that. Now I'll bring up the border. And I can turn off the sketches again at this point. And there's the card. Now let's scale this to a specific size. First let's find out exactly how long it is. I'm going to click on Inspect, Measure, click on these points, and I see it's 53.943 millimeters long. What if I want it 40 millimeters? I'll click on Modify, Scale. I'll keep it on Uniform. If I click Non-Uniform, 
I can actually scale this along one axis. See that? But I don't want to do that, so I'll undo and I'll go back into scale. Select it. And then I'm going to type in a scale factor. So let's bring a calculator in. And what I need to do is type what I want divided by what I have. And that's the scale factor I need, 0.741. So I'll type 0.741, OK. And let's see what it measures now. OK, almost 40. And there you have it.